Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast Let's Play. <clears throat> it's episode 14. Been doing probably a little too much playing off camera, so we need to get caught up with some of the stuff I did or have done. I'm pretty sure you guys saw the clear glass. Got this working away a bit. <clears throat> I also have it automated now, so it automatically fills up. Dumps the clear glass blocks in here. There's just some extras that I made. And we'll leave that stuff in there. First thing to do, do not look to the right. Voila. <clears throat> the old Thoncraft room has been moved. Replaced by the new Ars Magica room. Which in turn also got its wall bumped out because it wasn't enough room. So I think when we go to go over here, to I need to bump it out again to put another one of these guys on this side. That's going to cause an issue with the new expansion over there. So, but anyway, ours Magica. Arcane Compendium. <clears throat> You get that by putting an item frame on a cobblestone block next to a pool of essence. Once you do that, you put a book inside there. And well, let's see. Let's see some real quick. Maybe we could show you that real quick. I need you for a book. Where is my item frame? Gotta sneeze. Two. All right. <coughs> ah, there's my item frame. I'm gonna need to make some paper. And we will show you how this works. Hopefully it doesn't change anything for me, but hey. Who knows? <clears throat> Alright, let's find ourselves... A pool of essence, which I had one back over here, but I drained it before. Yeah, horse island here now, man. A horse is running all over the place. Hmm. Well. We may just have to. I really don't want to waste a pool or a bucket of essence, but hey. Yes, yeah, so you can see the new extension right over there. Let's just check over here real quick. Prefer to find one natural in the world. No regular water. Regular water, regular water. I'd like to be able to find one out in the world so you guys can see exactly what they look like. Yeah, these look like they're going to be natural regular water pools as well. Yeah, water, water. Ooh, I don't think I've seen these before. 
on notice of that running much quicker today that would be due to another item that I made that's a thumbcraft item you know what I'm gonna give this this little area right here I think I probably have my best luck finding those pools in the desert anyway I right, see that right there quicksands be very careful of that I know I'm gonna need some some of you Still nothing, huh? Nope, there's one. Alright, you'll notice it's a little different. Well, for one, your tooltip shows it as being different. Can't scan it. But what you do is... Yeah, it should work with dirt blocks, too. Put a dirt block next to it. On that block, you put an item frame. Inside that item frame, you put a book. Now, watch. See all the particle effects? And after it has pulled it all in, I hope it doesn't reset my. Compendium already have. There you go. Voila. Arcane Compendium. <clears throat> You'll start out with just a couple tabs as you learn things. See so sparkling things. Stuff that I have learned already. But Ars Magica magic based making spells all sorts of other fun stuff so let's head back I'll show you some of the stuff that I have made in preparation for this it seems like a really cool mod love these boots they're the boots of the traveler I'll show you guys the thumbcraft stuff in the next episode Really makes it easier for traveling. <laughs> Hence the name. <clears throat> Oops, I want you guys. How's it going, cows? Mm. Alrighty, so now we're back. I suppose I'll just put you in there. 
along with one of you. Okay, so if you go through, you're basically going to have the forward using Compendium up to your first spell. Which is going to tell you exactly what you need to do. You need to create an Oculus, an inscription table, and a crafting altar. The Oculus, if you go through here to blocks. Oculus, pretty easy to make. I already made that. That's what this guy is right here. Here's our inscription table. Now with the Oculus, <clears throat> you're going to start with three points up here in blue, which you can use to pick, and we'll call it this, like the skills. You also have tabs up here for offense, defense, utility. I went with defense. And I use my three points to go uh, self casting spell with regeneration and heal. From there, go to the inscription table. And now those things are available in your inscription table. You put a uh, <clears throat> scribed book in there. And you are able to drag this stuff down to basically build your spell how you want. You can name it and everything, and then you just pull this, pull the scrapbook out, and you get this. I named mine. <coughs> what you can do with this is put it to a bar and open it up. Is going to tell you what the spell is. It's going to be regenerate self, cast on self, regeneration, heal. The material list needed for making the spell, and the affinity breakdown, which I'm not really sure what all is going on with that. But I have all that stuff. And this contraption, this multi-block, is the crafting altar. It is not, it will pop up here, but it just shows you how to make one block from it. It is a multi-block structure, so you have to go down here to structures, crafting altar. <clears throat> this is the picture of how you have to put it together. The nice thing is, though, well, first, uh, if you look over here, it's going to tell you the the power of different the different items you can use to make this. I paused this on the on the plan that I did, but no cycle. It's going to cycle through just different examples with the different blocks. If you go over, more of the stuff for the bricks and the caps. So, that's not what I was going to get. But, I don't really, doesn't need to be on the one that I'm doing. So, the other nice thing about this is when you do get to go up here, you have the layers so if you click one, this is the base layer, five by five, with a cap in the center. Then you go up, and on top of that, you put these on, lectern. Above that is this. So it's really nice to give you a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to build it. All right, so now that you got it, we could make a spell, but if we look at the spell I chose, it needs essence, neutral essence. That is made by an essence nexus, which is what I have made off to the right.
so. That is what I built over here. Just chiseled bricks, the blue chalk, and all of this stuff I made, I didn't have to have it in my compendium before I made it. So that is the nice thing, but once you make it, stuff's added to your book, so it'll fill up. But the one thing I know that I need is I need to connect this to my crafting altar. In order to do that, I need a crystal wrench. Ventium dust, orchid, nova. Hopefully I have some iron in here too. Yep. Uh, Ventium dust. Where are you? Oh, right here. Oh, I need one of you. Do, 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 do. What was that again? Look at that. Oh. Where's the orchid at? There we go. Crystal wrench. You guys can get back in there. Now what you should do to link them is you right click on the center of the altar. You're going to see that light pop up. And then right click there and the light should go off. Alrighty. So now that that is done, let's eat here real quick. Check my yeah. The sound's not loud. <clears throat> In my book, I list all the things I need to make the spell. So let us do this. Let's get everything needed to make the spell on our hot bar. In the book. <clears throat> now, to make the spell, you are going to put your book on the uh, lectern right here. And with all, you start out with a blank rune. <clears throat> I did not throw far enough. Alright, it disappeared. Now the book is going to tell you what you need to throw in next. And you'll see the particle effects. Alright, so all went in. When it does show uh, a picture of one, even if your recipe says you need more than one, you only put one in at a time when it shows it. Alright, now you see that. That is the essence that we need. Now it's hooked up. Now this is what the light is for. You pull that, and you'll see that cool particle beam that was flashing there. And it automatically turned the switch off. So now we have the essence we need. We need the blue rune, the golden apple, the green rune, the alm, and the last thing is the and voila we have our spell now I'm going to go kill a zombie that's so rudely interrupting and lock myself out of the house alright so now we have the spell Now the first time you open it, you can change the name again, you can give it icons. There's quite a few. <clears throat> we are going to use this lowest. 
regular heal. Oh, it looks like it's just giving it random names. Alrighty. So now that we have this, you'll notice in our hand, when we hover over it, our little ball of energy. And when we right click with that on there, Voila! We heal ourselves, and you'll notice we actually. Well, if you go like this, see we got regeneration, and we healed ourselves for a little bit. And if you notice the blue four, that is our level. See, now we just got another level. Now you can't just spam this away and still get experience. So every so often you can, but see now I'm already level 6. Let's see. Yep. So if we go over here, see I have three more points in blue. And it opened up more stuff. To color... Affinities, not sure what this is. But with these talents, we try this. Yep, man regen one. Oh, that's all we're going to do with that because we are going to make. a projectile. We're going to do gravity, bounce, we're going to do physical damage. And as you're wandering around, you do want to cast like this heal spell just to get the levels. <clears throat> Let's get another book. You know, book and quill is what you need. So I need a book, ink, and a feather. I think I brought an... Huh. <laughs> Let's see... Put this in the lab traps. And I put the whole thing in there. Didn't I? Yep. Okay, we need an ink sack. So we are going to have to run into the new room, which I will be going over next episode. Ooh, unless I can do this. Yeah, I know you guys saw it for the most part already, but... So we got the book and quill. And we're going to put that other ink sack in there. So now we open up this. Let's just click these to get them off. Put the book in there. Now, let us make a projectile spell. You just drag and drop. Projectile. Physical damage. Let's let that sit there for a second. Ah, we didn't get any more. Hmm. I keep it as physical or fire damage. I 
I want to keep it as I want to have it as fire damage, but let's hold on a minute. Guides using this compendium. I am looking for something specific. In here, right here. Using this command. makes it so that you can move stuff around. And you move your mana bars around and such. Uh, the red ones apparently you can't move around. Oh, okay. Yes, we want the numerics on. Alrighty, so now everything's kind of moved around. I was hoping it would have. Oh, level 8. Did we? Yep. We got another point. So we are also going to put fire damage. So now we can do this fire damage. So it's a projectile, physical damage. <clears throat> now you take the book out. There you go. Projectile physical damage, fire damage. This has all the stuff you need. Except, I know I do not have any snowballs. So, we will not be able to make that, but that seems to be a good time to uh, finish this one up. So, that's it, the basic of Ars Magica. I realize I've been doing a lot off camera. Still have to show you guys how to fill this up. But it's pretty easy. You make a little... See, I got a little tunnel down here that runs underneath it. You dump a bucket of that essence that we found. And we'll fill it up real quick. I'm not sure how much we, well, I know how much we used, but dump that down there. And as it runs underneath it, you'll see that it starts filling it up. And it will eventually use it all up. Relatively quickly, actually. Yep. So for neutral, well, as of right now, there is a limited supply, it seems. But so that's it, guys. Uh, next episode, we will go over the thumb craft room, which may or may not involve me having to go over into creative to. Uh, show you the structure but you know what on the off chance that I did not show you guys the super cool glass let's get some more of these windows done did I? Oh. see regular glass breaks this clear glass doesn't uh, you don't lose it Holy cow. <laughs> Oops. That's hidden a little bit now, isn't it?
And no small windows. See, that doesn't break, but say we break one of these, see, we do get it back, so you don't lose it, at least. Not sure if you can stain it. Now we're going to go with glass panes, because it's cheaper. And I like how it's inset a little bit. So you got the porters there, and voila. <clears throat> so that's it, guys. As always, be good, and see you later.